Let's write the structural formula for one hexene. The molecular formula, that's C5H12, but that doesn't tell us how the atoms are organized. For that, we need the structural formula for one hexene. So when we look at the name one hexene, this ENE -E on the end, that tells us we have an alkene. They end in ENE. -E. So we're going to have a double bond between two carbons. The hex right here, that means six. So we'll have a chain of six carbons with a double bond. That double bond is going to be on the first carbon. So let's write a chain of six carbons to start with. So we have six carbons here and they're in a chain. Right now they have all single bonds. So that would make this an alkane. This would be hexane. So let's number the carbons. So since we have hexene, we have a double bond because of this ENE. -E, and we're going to put that on the first carbon. And remember the double bond, it goes between carbon atoms. So we're going to put our double bond right here. And then carbon, it can only be bonded to four things. So this carbon right here has one, two, three, four, five. Same with this one. So let's get rid of this here and this here. And note that all of these lines, they're bonded to hydrogen atoms. So this is the formula for one hexene. If you wanted, you could write all of the hydrogen atoms in. If you looked at a model, a molecular model for one hexene, that would look like this. And you can see our double bond here on the first carbon. Note that the hydrogens, those are the white. We could also draw a skeletal structure if we wanted to simplify this. That would look like this. And again, there's that double bond on the first carbon of one hexene. Often with double bonds, we'll have isomers, geometric isomers, cis-tran isomers. But here, since the double bond is on the first carbon, we don't have those isomers with one hexene. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.